Hello everyone, Toby's here and in today's video we're gonna take a second look at the Hero Mastery. I've already made a video on Hero Mastery but I keep getting frequent questions and I feel like the one I made is kind of outdated now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus primarily on the Hero Selection, like the best on slot for the heroes. We have 25 heroes to select in the Hero Mastery. I'm gonna focus on each one of them, tell you, the, show you the one I'm I have selected, why I selected them and also give you alternative options based on the play style you play or your the race you're playing or your formation and so on but before we do that make sure to write hashtag giveaway with your game id to participate in the incoming toby nation week so let's uh, basically jump into it all right so i'm not gonna go into the small ones because as i said i've already made a video on making it from scratch but now we're just gonna focus on these all right we have 25 heroes here more or less i think 25 yeah we're gonna show you the ones i selected uh, so let's jump into the first one for the divine one all right we have here what max health plus 17.5 percent and healing received plus 21 percent all right i selected berog berog is uh, positioned in my stall side all right so let me show you berog equipment and explain why i selected this one on him i honestly like this one it goes on the tank with the main main artifact all right so i have main on berog says what health recovery rate plus 50 percent grant gradual health recovery that scales with max hero health to nearby allies all right so i want him to heal the the, the swordsman that i have in my stall side and then also recover health and stun and, and reduce damage all right keep in mind the, the other one so it has what 21 percent healing received and look at this prism i selected for him increase evade chance by 26 percent and healing received by 35 so that's like what 56 percent now healing received all right, and then if the Berog drops below 30%, his evade will increase and also will restore 9% health per second for 10 seconds. Along with all of that, I have the Bandit Bishop on him. So every time he gets healed and all of this, he's going to help the Stall Side Swordsman. So that's my logic. What other options you could do is um, basically you can use this one for any tank. You know, you could use this one on Varian maybe or... Bane doesn't really matter, but it has to be a tank, which require healing received and max health and so on. In my case, I like it on Berrug, I explained why. So let's move on to the second one. Alright, so the best in slot for this one says what? Units with less than 40% health receive double healing efficiency or efficacy from this hero, which is Flores. In my opinion, best slot is Flores because her healing is a percentage, 5% health I believe. If you use the, the trinket to plus one, it's going to be 5.5%. All right. Um, the other candidates are uh, Vega, but Vega is healed. Why is it not really good? Because it's not a percentage. It's like 800 something. 800 is irrelevant at this stage of the game. And the third option you have is Tiadrin. Many people don't run Tiadrin in their formation because there is no slot for her. I personally only put her in the formation. If I'm facing Lich, I swap another hero. But uh, so yeah, this one goes to Flores. All right, let's jump into the third one. All right, within the first 30 seconds of the battle, Yip restore, or not Yip, the hero you select, restore 5% health per second. All right, maybe I'm the only one using this on Yip, but I will explain why and I will give you the other options. In my case, I am using this because I have Band of Bishop on Yip and I have Mirror of Real, uh, what's called? The artifact, the Mirror Artifact. So I have two Yip basically, giving two uh, Band of Bishop and I want him to restore health at the beginning so he can spread the healing. All right. But this one, you can use it on any any tank you have. You, you know, you can use it on Virion, on Bane, and it doesn't matter, really. You just want the hero to rest which, whichever hero to restore health at the front line, right? Because backline restoring health at the beginning is, is kind of pointless. You want hero who lose health at the beginning. I have my both Yips in the front, and they kind of, and you know, you can they kind of get hit at the beginning because uh, the mainly mainly I have them on the front because you also want to have your sage and general hitting all your troops right so um, it's the way I have it so let's move on to the this one eight on divine it says what attribute plus five all right gets a shield at the beginning of the battle equal to sixty percent of their max health that lasts thirty seconds. This one mainly used, I see, I've seen a lot of people use it on Avril or um, sometimes I used it on Ophidia back in days. I used this, this one on uh, Varian. You know, any any hero that you want to kind of, is important to keep alive. But in my case now, what I'm doing is I'm stacking all the shields on uh, Bartender. I'll show you. 
so 60% of their max health, all right? Bartender, my bartender has the highest health, uh, with, you know, in, compare, in comparison to all my units, including my dragon, everything. So 60% of their max health is going to be a lot of shields. So let me show you bartender equipment. All right, so 60% and look at his health. 75 million, all right? So he's going to gain the most uh, benefit from this one, in my opinion. He's, he's in the front. He's going to get all the hits. And above that, I have also this uh, hat, which is going to give him 10% uh, also shield of his health. And also this one that's going to give him a shield as well. So I'm just stacking the shields along with the taunting uh, prism. You know, it's going to be beautiful to keep him uh, keep him annoying. In my, I have him on the checkpoint of my... Basically opposite of Berog. I have him in, in the very edge of my power side. So I don't want him to collapse any any soon. I want him to hold my power side. And also I like the, I like this artifact on him. I don't use him as damage really. I use him just as to be a nuisance in my power side. It says what? Also recover health. Reduce damage uh, received from critical. And also nearby enemies. They take movement speed and attack speed slower. And also deal continuous damage that scales with their max health. So... I don't know how relevant this one, but on paper, it should work, right? All right, let's move on. So what do we have? We have the last one. This one is crucial, guys. It's, it's important to, to really put it based on your formation. This is a super important one. Every 15 seconds, Lonella or whoever hero you select, heals all nearby units by 30%. This effect is half for heroes and dragons. Guys, this is important. This one, I prefer that I, or I advise you to keep it close to your your main primarily ranged unit right so just quickly to show you where my lonella is in my formation so you understand uh, more so she's like the checkpoint right she's like the checkpoint for me and she's gonna keep healing my archers this is really important all right so if you can see her here she, right now i'm using this formation i keep changing but yeah, by the way i adapt my formation like on weekly basis i, I change so she's here, right? She's she's in the middle, in between my two swordsmen, my two archers, and uh, you want, you know, this is this this for the hero mastery. This one is important to keep it on your main important power side, whichever they look like, warlocks, uh, you know, Rakan archers, who, snipers, who, who, it doesn't matter. You want to keep them alive. So for me, this is the best. All right. So there's no specific hero for this one. It's based on your formation. All right, let's move on to the, now to the green one, right? Let's go to the green one. All right, the first one here. Max health and evasion. So this one goes on any tank you have. You have, you know, if you use Bane and uh, even like uh, Solaris also, you can use it on Solaris. If, if I, I can increase his max health even more with this one. It's going to be crazy. Actually, let's, uh, no, let's, uh, let's not do it. Because it's going to be maybe 80, 80 million or something. So, yeah, for me, I have it on Virion because obviously i playing humans. Virion is super important uh, hero for me. I actually changed the formation just so I can have a slot uh, to put a Virion. i just show you. Just to put Virion a little bit in the middle because I have no slot for him in the right side. And if I put him in the left side, and if I face power side in the left side, usually he dies. I want to hide him in the middle somehow. So, yeah. Let's go to the second one. All right, so I stack this one on Berog along with the other one. I showed you the healing received. So it says what? When he has less than 40% health the first time, any damage received will be decreased by 50%. So this one is, you know, goes on any tank again. So I have it on Berog. You can use it on Bane. You can use it even on Denji. You can, you know, it doesn't really matter. Anybody you you feel like they need to survive, all right? So for me, it goes, it makes sense for me to use it on Berog. But yeah, it really depends on the other, like when you keep selecting, you because each hero can only have select two, right? And they can only select two from different colors. So that's where you get to fill up the puzzles based on your play style. All right, now this is a strange one here. I, I don't think a lot of people use this one because Roof, you usually, you know, he goes on the blue one and the red one, right? But I don't have a red one on, on, on Roof, you. I will explain why. So what I have here on Roof, you. Every 10 seconds, Lubu, aka Rufio, shoots out an icy mist that increases their evasion by 30% and reduces their, the attack speed of all surrounding enemies by 50%. Now, you know, this one, usually the people put it on a tank in the front line, Bane or, or Solaris or somebody who goes, you know, and slows the attack speed and try to increase his evade. 
But I, I play Rufio different now. I play him just to um, just to uh, pro proc the dragon. That's the way I play Rufio. Just to proc the dragon and just uh, become like annoying with the backline and uh, you know controlling the backline, the archers or the snipers and so on. That's how I play him. That's his role. That's why I I, I still use I'll show you. That's why I still use this set on him. You see, many people using Clash of Fate set on him. Uh, you know, just to become like a stronger and killing the backline. I use him just to crowd control the backline and just to proc the dragon. That's his purpose for me. And uh, depend really on your playstyle, how, you, how you're gonna do this. So for me, I feel like this makes sense to, uh, you know, slow the attack speed of backline enemies because he's the only one who's gonna reach backline, right? I feel like it makes sense and also increases his evasion. It's kind of good. All right, let's uh, check this one says what damage received from enemy heroes plus uh, minus 35 percent and damage received from enemy range unit minus 40. honestly i have been i've had this one on denji from the very beginning i've never changed it because denji also has deflection from his ability which reduced the range attack speed as well uh, range attack damage on him so it's kind of i don't know this makes him really tanky for me uh, if i pop his dumpling he's gonna stay alive and uh, i like it on denji to be honest you know it's really you can you can change it to any other tank as well depend on which tank you feel like he's collapsing at the beginning is not surviving any longer or anything you know use this one on him but i like this one on, on denji all right for the last one all right every 10 seconds bartender gets a shield again a shield guys remember how many shields we have been stacking on bartender to 25 percent of their max health man how many shields is this guy's gonna get and taunt nearby enemies so this one i feel like uh, you feel like it, it it makes sense to to put it on solaris the reason i like it on solaris because solaris as as we mentioned multiple times he he don't die for 13 seconds and so taunting is okay because taunt by the way i had people asking me what taunt mean taunt is forcing the units to attack him that, that's the, the terminology of taunt and in, in gaming so he forced the people to attack him and it's okay to attack him because he's not gonna die right Along with all these shields, along with the health I showed you, he's gonna be annoying. So I feel like this one makes sense on him. Other option is uh, putting this one, I at some point I use it on Bane. And, uh, you know, Bane also he taunts and uh, when he charges, uh, not when he charges, every couple of seconds he has a taunt ability. So it's, it's okay. And you can put like um, the prism that when people attack him, uh, the units attack him, they reduce their damage. Or you can put the trinket that disarm and all of this, you know, small cute things. But that's how I run it for now, and I like it that way, to be honest. Now let's move on to the red one. Now, since I this one says what physical damage and attack speed plus seventy percent. So this one best on slot usually goes on uh, Saizo or uh, Basric. But in my case, I honestly have nobody to use uh, this one on because, as as I mentioned, I I don't have Rufio and and the red one, right? Usually the heroes that you would have here is, is are these with Rufio but now I don't have anybody so just putting it, this one on my right for to, to increase her attack speed I have the sapial artifact on her so mainly she's gonna just like uh, increase her attack speed so she can max the sapial quickly which gonna buff the archers 50% damage uh, you know if you're not sure what is that just look at the sapial artifact the ball looking artifact but yeah, as I mentioned, this best in slots, it goes on uh, usually Saizo or Basric. This one, I like it on Nora, I don't change it. I think it's best on Nora. Range plus 5, crit rate and crit damage. This is what makes Nora splash really, really, you know, that does a lot of damage with the Draconic Storm and her splash. I like this one on Nora, I think it's best in slot on Nora. Alright, what do we have? So, this one, as I said, this one usually goes on, uh, I used to use it on Rufio. But now I changed the style of Rufio. It's all about, as I mentioned, to proc the dragon. And uh, I put this one on Saizo instead of the other one. I, you know, I can swap. It's not a big deal, really. But yeah, this one usually I like it on Rufio, but it's okay. All right, what do we have here? Also, I've seen some people use this one on Rufio. It will be given a 12% uh, physical penetration effect while dealing physical damage. When, like when he blade storm Rufio and the target which can be stacked four times. So he, But I also like this one on Denji. I, I utilize Denji in my playstyle. I will show you a replay if you want. 
you know, the way I do things is Lantern and then Denji and then Rufio. That's my, my rotation. So Denji is important for me because once you, he activates his dumpling before he dies, he's going to help cutting through and he's going to help tanking a lot of damage as well. So he's going to give me the push and the defense as well, which is going to help me, uh, you know, breach, breach the side, my power side. So yeah, best an option this one. I've seen, you know, as I said, Rufio and uh, I like it on Denji. As for the last one, I like it on Bazrek. Uh, this one, I've tried it on Nora. Honestly, I think this is best on Nora. Don't change this one from Nora. And, um, you know, you can try this one on, on Saizo as well. But I feel like Bazrek is okay. His uh, attack speed and stacking his, uh, you know, um, his new prism that makes splashing and all of that. It's okay. You can use this one on Saizo or, or Bazrek as well. Alright, let's move on. Only two left now. Let's keep the... Let's go to the blue one. Alright. Since, as I said, every hero can take only two from each slot, uh, from each color. Uh, only two and one from each color. So I have this one on Nora just to increase her attack speed. And the magic damage. Also, uh, I believe the Draconic Storm, the Prism, uh, you know, is a magic damage. So it's, it's okay to increase the magic damage as well for her. But, uh, you know, you can you can change if you like. You can use this one on, uh, what's her name? Valari, if you run mages. I don't run mages, so... You know, it really depend, depends on the other slots you have. As for this one, this one best on slots uh, on, on, on Rufio. And I, and only Rufio, to be honest. Because you need Rufio to keep moving. When you leap, you need to keep moving. If you stop, you get focused, he dies. You need to keep moving. So this is best on Rufio. No, no question about it. And uh, no other option. Alright, so maybe this is I'm the only person on, on, on the planet using uh, this one on Rose. So, you know, don't pay attention to this one. If I leave it empty, it's also okay. The reason is, I don't have any mages, guys, and uh, in my formation, in my current formation. By the way, I'm gonna max the for, um, research for uh, for mages very soon. I might change my formation and adapt. As you know, I you know, I share with you my playstyle. But this one, I don't have any anyone who does magic. So I use it on Rose just because she's the only one spitting poison magic, alright? But this best on slot, I believe, is on Ophidia. Currently, I'm not running Ophidia in my formation. I keep putting her back and forth, in and, and out. Uh, you know, I might put her back in. I will switch one to this one to Ophidia. But this is best on slot, usually goes on Ophidia. Alright? Alright, here is the burning one, the big one. This is usually best on slot on Avril. Everyone use it on Avril. I personally don't run Avril, so I use it on Raxis. So his first lantern burns. All right, that's the only alternative I have, and uh, yeah, it's a good one. For the last one, I believe this best on slot goes on Basric. So you can cast three bat splits. Three bat splits usually gonna wipe out any backline archers or range units you, you go against. I believe this is the best on on Basric. You know, you can use it on Virion to revive twice. You can. There are some funky things you could do, but I believe best in salt this one on Basric. No question about it. All right, for the last one. So this one, it's also important to pay attention to. This is important based on your formation, right? So I have this one says what? Nearby troops attack and health plus 15% for 30 seconds. So what you want to do is what you want a hero that hits as much units as you have. Now that I have mirrored, uh, yep. So this one hits one, two, three, four, five, almost six troops. If I use three archers formation, six troops. So you want to cover as much area as you can. It doesn't have to be Yip, but as I mentioned, usually Yip is a, is a sage and you usually you want to distribute the sages and generals to hit all the troops anyway. So I feel like logically this one goes on, on a sage anyway. So yeah, it doesn't have to be Yip. Select a hero that hits many uh, of your troops as, as uh, close to them and in, in the preset formation basically when you set your formation is like nearby them because it says nearby nearby is uh, it's important to pay attention to this one all right let's go to the next one all right this one is literally any hero you can use i use it on elena only because she has like the silver wing buff anyway but it doesn't matter at the beginning of the battle whoever hero you selected blesses a random melee troop melee troops is the front line decreasing any damage they receive from enemy heroes and dragon by 40 percent it doesn't have to be uh, Elena. Any hero, any hero. You can use this one on, on Bear Rogue if you want. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Any hero. All right, all right, here it says what? When Fenris is on the battlefield, damage and attack speed of all troops deployed plus 
Also, this one, okay on any hero, but you want the hero that kind of survive. You don't want a hero that dies. Actually, I could swap this with, uh, with the, yeah. You know what? Let me swap. Because I feel like uh, Elena, usually, she's the very last person to, to die, right? So, let's uh, swap. Usually, Venris also stays alive for a very long time. But this is just to show you, it's, 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 it's not a big deal, guys. So, but I feel like Elena, always the last person to die because she has Solantris artifact. So maybe it's better because this guy is gonna buff at the beginning and then it doesn't matter. But this one, as long as she's on the on the battlefield, which means uh, it's more important to be honest. Uh, quick discovery with each other, guys. All right, this one. This is a super important one, guys. Command plus twenty doesn't matter. Damage nearby troops. All right, so keep attention to this one. Nearby troops damage received minus thirty percent, and any damage received reduces enemy attack speed by thirty percent. So this usually goes to uh it goes well with the banner artifact in your stall side all right meaning what guys and for those who don't understand let's see because yeah, i get uh, strange questions so this is the banner artifact all right which gonna protect your the nearby troops so what you want to do is you want to have it on your stall side stall side meaning the side that you want to stall not the one you're pushing right so yeah it goes well together it doesn't have to be a uh, gun you know it really depends on your formation it depends on your formation i, I cannot uh, repeat this enough it depends on your formation i have gun on, on on my stall side all right as for the last one last one is also every 10 seconds whoever here you select boost the attack and attack speed of nearby troops in my case i have avalon near my uh, power side uh, between my two archers supporting my two archers so it's only logical to keep the give them attack speed for these archers all right so we did we finish them yeah we finished them now having all of these things i mentioned in mind let me show you a quick replay so you keep these all things small things i said in mind so you can get to see what happened like uh, and the denji the roof you bedrock all of these things all right just a quick uh, reminder of my formation so as you know so this is Gan, buffing these two, and uh, this is uh, Lonella jumping back, healing these two, and healing these as well. This is uh, Yip, is buffing one, two, three, four, five, five troops. If I put archers here, it's gonna be six troops. But I, I, I ought to do this to hide my Virion a little bit in the middle, and I gave him the Fatty uh, Astral Fatty artifact, so he hit affect these two swordsmen. And this guy with the shield, the green shield artifact to also help these. This guy healing this arch, uh, swordsman. And all of these small things, guys. Well, let's take a look. So, as I said, using, uh, what do you we call it, uh, lantern here. Stunning all of this. And then Denji. Where is uh, our lovely Denji? Denji here. Look what, what he's going to do. He's going to go all the way to these people. And, and then roof you jump proking the dragon and then controlling all these uh... and look denji is here i'm controlling all the snipers controlling the snipers then back to the dragon kill the dragon and then sweep from this side and end of lovely story so that's how i play my my you know my humans it really depends on how you how you play it really depends on your play style guys there is nothing set on stones when it comes to the to the to the hero mastery Nothing set on stones. Maybe the only one is, is the roofy one. Is the one set on stone. The other ones, read them. And then when you read the, the, the hero mastery, you get to select based on what you are doing in the game. You know, this is the best way you can play a video game. Not just to copy others. You get, you get to form your own idea. What you're going to do. Which heroes you are using. Which race you are playing. What formation you are running. And all of these good things. So yeah, guys, hopefully this is helpful. Because I keep getting a lot of questions about hero mastery. I don't know what's the mystery. But hey. Hopefully this helps, guys. And until next time, take it easy, guys. See ya.